Good morning, second grade. It is lesson 24 for Saxon Phonics today. We are going to talk about a combination that we have already done before, but first we are going to do a little warm up activity, okay? So we're going to listen for syllables. I'm going to say some of the words, and some of them might be really long words, and I want you to figure out how many syllables are in these words and hold up that many fingers, okay? So the first word is September, September. Remember you can clap out each word part or you can put your finger on your chin. How many syllables are in the word September? September, look at my chin, September, September. How many syllables are there? I hope you are holding up three fingers. There are three syllables in the word September. All right, I want you to try this one. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. You can point to your chin and see how many times it drops. You can clap out the word parts. Kindergarten has four syllables. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. There are four syllables in kindergarten. Try the word select, select. There are two syllables in the word select, select. How about invitation, invitation, invitation. There are four syllables, good job. A few more practice ones, ordinary. 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 There are four syllables in ordinary. Family. 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 There are three syllables in the word family. Two more words to try. Secretary. How many syllables are in the word secretary? Secretary. There are four syllables. All right, the last one is carnival. 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 There are three syllables in the word carnival. All right, give yourself a pat on the back. Very good with the syllables. All right. I want you to echo these words and listen to the sound in the final position, the sound that comes at the end of the word. Ready? Dollar. Collar. Tartar. Again, those words were dollar, collar, tartar. What sound do you hear as the final sound? You hear er, right? All right, look at my board. In this column are the words dollar, collar, tartar. What is making the er sound? A and R, right? At the end of each word, A and R make the er sound. Wait, er is the combination. I'm really confused. I thought A and R yesterday said R, like, tar, mar, and star. We did these words yesterday in combination AR said R. Let's code these different words and see if we can figure out why they're making different sounds, okay? So let's start by coding dollar, dollar. We see combination AR. I also see the vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, brevi above the O. Okay, there are two syllables. Which syllable is accented? Dollar, dollar. The first syllable is accented. All right, let's move on to tar, tar, combination A-R. Okay, collar, collar. Okay, back on the C. Combination AR. Again, we have a vowel consonant consonant vowel pattern with a brevi above the O. Again, this is a two syllable word. 
You can see that because of the line we drew in the middle. Which syllable is accented? Caller. Very good, the first syllable. I'm running out of room. I hope you can see that little accent mark on the first syllable. For mar, we just have combination AR. Okay. Tartar. Tartar. I see combination AR, combination AR. There is a vowel consonant consonant vowel pattern here. Remember, since the vowels are part of combinations, we do not need to code them. So this is it. Let's choose which syllable has the accent in tartar. It's the first syllable again. And then lastly, for the word star, combination AR. So are these words accented in this column? Tar, mar, and star. Are those words accented? Yes, they all just have one syllable and all one syllable words are accented, okay? So we're going to draw the accent mark just to show they are accented. They are just one syllable words though. Okay, so let's look at all six of these words carefully. Some of the combination ARs say R and some of them say ER. So let's see if we can figure out why. When does combination AR say R? When does combination AR say R? It's when it is in the accented syllable. So like tar is part of the accented syllable. Mar, it's part of the accented syllable. Star, part of the accented syllable. Do you see any other combination ARs on the board that have an accented syllable? Did you see it in the first syllable of tartar? Tartar, that first syllable is accented, so it says R, tartar, okay? The other combination ARs say ER, okay? These combination ARs in dollar, collar, and tartar say er because they are not accented syllables, okay? So if you don't know how to pronounce a word that contains the combination AR, try the R sound first because it is going to be more common. But if it doesn't sound right, try the er sound, okay? If it does say the r sound, accent the syllable, okay? If neither sound makes a word, then look it up in the dictionary and see how it's pronounced, okay? We're going to try one more thing before we get to our worksheet. I'm going to write three new words on the board. I'm writing the words warm, swarm, and warp, okay? What do you hear in the medial position? Warm, swarm, warp. You hear the or sound? What is making the or sound? Combination AR again. What do you think is making combination AR say or this time? What do you notice right before every combination AR? The letter W. The letter W is bossy when it comes before or after certain letters. So we call it a bossy W. The bossy W changes the sound of those letters that it would normally make, okay? So again, we code combination AR with an arc underneath, okay? All right, let's get out our worksheet and try some coding. 
Worksheet number 24 is what you should be looking for. All right, let's go ahead and start our coding at the top. I need a K back on the C. I see combination A, R. There are two codes in this. This word is carp, carp, okay? We've already done number two, but let's do it again for a review. We need a K back on the C. I see combination A, R. There is a vowel consonant consonant vowel pattern. That means the O gets a brevi. The A is part of a combination. It doesn't need coded. Which syllable is accented in collar? Collar. The first syllable is accented. Put your accent mark. That means the AR combination says er in this word. Collar. All right, number three, we have a lot of coding to do. Let's see, digraph CH, combination AR, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. The E gets a brevi. And which syllable is accented? This word is cheddar. Cheddar. The first syllable is accented. So the AR combination, it's not in the accented syllable, so it says er, cheddar, cheddar. Number four only gets one code and it is combination IR. Read number four. The word is sir, sir. All right, number five, lots of coding again. I see combination ER, K back on the C. There is a vowel consonant consonant vowel pattern. So the second E gets a brevi, not the first, it's part of a combination. Which syllable is accented? Perfect, perfect, the first syllable. So your accent mark in the first syllable. And lastly, number six, we start off with digraph SH. This is final E, so it gets a macron. Since it is final E, it says E, this word is she, she. All right, let's match our pictures to the words. This you might say is a fish, but the type of fish is a carp. So it matches to number one. Number two, this looks like a block of cheese, but the type of cheese is cheddar. So it matches with number three. And picture number three is a dog and around its neck is a collar, collar. So it matches to number two. Okay, let's read the sentences together to answer the questions at the bottom of the page. Barb can run fast. She can run far. Barb will enter a contest. She will win if she runs fast. The winner will win a dollar. Tom and Kim will go with Barb to the contest. It will be fun. Number seven, the winner will run blank. The winner will run blank. Well, it says that Barb is going to enter a contest and she will win if she runs how? Fast. The winner will run fast. Fast for number seven. Number eight asks, what will the winner win? Will the winner win a ribbon, a dollar or two dollars? 
this sentence right here says the winner will win a dollar. So the answer is dollar. Make sure you fill in your circle nice and neat. Number nine, Tom and Kent will go with Barb, yes or no? Tom and Kim will go with Barb, not Tom and Kent. So this is no. Tom is going, but it's Kim also going. And number 10, who will enter the contest? Barb, Tom, or Kim? Who will enter the contest? When I look back here, I see that Barb will enter a contest. Barb. Okay, make sure you turn to the homework side with me. I am going to give you the number hints at the top of the page for you. So, number one needs two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total markings. Eight total markings for number one. Number two only needs two codes. Number three also needs two codes. Number four needs eight again. So we're at eight, two, two, eight. And then we need two codes for number five and just one code for number six. Make sure you write these numbers down to help you. Eight, two, two, eight, two, one. All right, it's time to get started on your homework page. Good job today.